can show them that I know my family matters like a Winslow. Outdoors, smoking indoors. And welcome back to another CGS video. Y'all know who I am by now, CGS. And welcome back, of course, to the channel. Today I got a little different video for y'all today. Um, I know you've seen the title, and yes, we're finally bringing story, story, you know, CGS stories to the episode. No stories about my past, my life. Obviously, I'm still 22 years old. Um, you know, I'm still young, but like, I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff I would like to tell y'all about, to talk to y'all about, give y'all stories about, you know, middle school me, high school me, all that stuff. So welcome to the first episode of CGS Story Time. Just go ahead and sit down, relax, and enjoy these next couple minutes. All right, so let me go ahead and paint a picture for y'all right quick. So, October 2014, I know I'm, I just turned 13. I was, I'm 13 years old, just moved to Odessa, Texas, small, t small town in West Texas, you know, you know, all oil field land, you know what, you know, so, I'm, me, family, you know, family business, we had to move up there. And that meant I was the new kid at the school I attended, the middle school I attended. Mind you, it's the middle of October, so football season just ended uh, in you know in New Mexico where I was living. So after football season, we moved to Texas, and I officially started my time as the new kid. And if you know me, I'm not really big on meeting new people. Um, only people that's close to me is you know, of course, OPC, my brothers, my family, and a few select people from high school. It's really care and if you know like I said if you know me I'm not the type to go out and you know just try to like you know like chat it up with somebody you know if like if I don't know you I'm not gonna fuck with you it's not necessarily a bad thing but if I don't know you I'm not gonna try to get to know you I'm not gonna try to do anything I'm not gonna talk to you I'm not gonna go look your way unless you know a family member introduces me or LPC introduces me to you or you to me you know that's the only way I'll make conversation other than that you know I'll keep to myself I'll just talk to the people I know talk to people that are close to me yada 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 all that so, obviously, when we moved, I'm the new kid at a random middle school, never heard of, and I was an outcast in a sense because I didn't talk to nobody, I didn't try to meet anybody new. This, you know, it, being the new kid is weird, people look at, people are always looking at you, people are always trying to crack jokes with you, and me being me, you know, I really didn't, I really wasn't feeling it, really wasn't liking it, you know, but that, that's just how I am. Like I said, if you know me, you know. So, like I said, you know, we moved middle of October, football season's already over, so now, you know, I'm at this random middle school, we have a dress code, yada, 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 still doing athletics, trying to play basketball, tr and track, all this stuff, you know, just to, you know, just to keep busy, obviously, like I said, I don't have friends, I'm kind of a loner at this point, so I'm just trying to do something that, you know, I'm trying to keep myself occupied, you know, you know, every day I'd walk to and from school, all that bullshit, and so... Like I said, I'm just trying to, I'm just doing me at this point. I'm not messing with anybody. Nobody's messing with me. Chilling, you know, going to school, going home, doing what I got to do. And so one day I met this dude, we're going to call him, we're going to call him O. I'm not going to use any real names. Gonna, so O, he came up to me one day. He's like, yo, you knew. So we, we started chatting it up. And I wouldn't say we were friends. We were more like, you know, like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, it's just a casual, hey, yo, what's up? How you doing? See each other in the hallway. Boom, boom. We had, obviously we did athletics together. But I wasn't thinking nothing of it. So, you know, as the year starts to progress a little bit, as, the, you know, the days start to go by, me and O start to, you know, chill a little bit more during school, obviously. At the time, I wasn't, like, you know, hanging out with him out of school. Like, you know, I wasn't trying to, like, be super cool with him. Like, you know, every time we see each other, we chat it up. We sit together at lunch a few times. Boom, boom, boom. Yada, yada, yada. You know, all that shit. So I wasn't trying to be, like, friends. We was cool with each other, but we wasn't friends, friends. You know, that there's a, you know, there's a difference. So me and him, you know, we chatted up almost every day now. We get, we, so we get, we cool, we cool with each other. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't say we friends, so we cool. And, you know, like I said, O, o was a really cool dude. Like, you know, he, you know, he, we work out together, go eat lunch together. We, you know, laugh together about some, sh like a bunch of shit. We had a lot of common interests too. So we talk about that, uh, talk about football a lot. You know, we're both football players. And so one day, this girl, we're going to call her L. Uh, you know, walked up to O's cell, and I'm like, I don't know who this is, so I'm not gonna mind her. And O's is like, yo, this is L, super cool, yada yada. So I say, what's up to L? And when I tell you, L at the at the time in eighth grade, you know, I'm what 13 years old, about to be 14 in a few months. This was the prettiest girl I have ever seen in my life, and like, you know, I think she was legitimately my first like actual crush. Obviously, you know, like growing up, I had a lot of celebrity crushes, yada yada. But I think this girl was my actual first like, legitimate crush, and I was just like, whoa, like, the first time I seen her, I wasn't really thinking of it, but, like, 
as she started come more around O when me and him would talk, I was just like, yo, she's she's pretty as fuck. Like, holy shit, this girl is actually kind of like cute. And I started like feeling, I was like, damn, I might have a crush on this girl. And but obviously, you know, clearly she was into O and O was kind of into her. So I was like, I'm I'm already on the outside of that. I'm not even going to test it. Right. I'm not even going to try to do nothing because obviously she likes him. He kind of likes her, but not really, really, because he can get somebody else if he really wanted to. He was like that. And so I'm already like, oh, I'm already on the outside looking in. I'm not even going to try it, you know, whatever. So, as you know, I said, days are going along, school days are going along, months pass, whatever. And I, during that time, I met S, who was L's best friend at the time, right? S was also a pretty girl, but she, like, you know, liked to, you know, mess around a little bit. So I wasn't really, I'm not really into that type of stuff. And so I was like, whatever, but she was a cool person to be around. She's cool people. So now it's at the point where like, yo, we kind of like almost hanging out every day in school. Obviously, I'm not going out with them or hanging out with them outside of school. But, you know, we sitting together a lot, a lot more often at lunch, yada, yada. We chatting up in hallways, walking to class together. And come to find out, I actually had English class with L, and I didn't realize it. So me and her would chat it up in there, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, I'm not making no moves. You know, she's clearly into O. I'm not going, I'm not going to push those boundaries because I know I won't get in and so like i said you know we all become really really good friends you know we're all good friends obviously oh you know he's been there since day one l came around s came around so we all we all like you know we all good with each other and so like i said have the biggest crush on her <laughs> that's gonna be important so like you know we all cool and so here's the main part of the story that you know get into i had to paint a picture for y'all right quick so here's the main part it was I believe it was a Friday morning, and at this time, there was a lot of fights happening in the morning, so they made all the students wait in the cafeteria before class started, so once you got to school, you had to immediately go to the cafeteria and wait for class to start, and they would dismiss us by by grade, so it was 7th and 8th grade, one day 8th graders would go, the next day 7th, and they flip-flop back and forth, all right? So, like I said, there's a lot of fights, so we're not allowed outside in the morning, so we have to go sit in the cafeteria, me and O, we sit together. And we talking about the Thursday night game. And I know what game it was. It was the Saints and the Bears Thursday night game. I believe. I don't know the exact score. But the Saints won that game. Because I remember I was like scared of Alshon Jeffrey at the time. Because that's when he was in his prime. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> so me and him. we Oh me and oh we chatting about the game. And I was like yeah I know Saints won. I had a Saints undershirt on. Because we had to wear uniforms at this school. So obviously so khaki pants. Um, a collared shirt of the school colors. Whatever colors. You know we had to do that. So I'm wearing a Saints shirt, so like you know, I'm I'm kind of I mean I'm happy about it. Saints won. I love my Saints. And then you know we we chatting it up, and L and S finally get to school, and they sit next to us because there's two open seats, and L is holding like this protein this protein shake bottle with a bedazzled cross on it, and I like I was like looking at it, I was like oh that's kind of that's that's kind of a cool protein bottle. I don't know I've never seen her carry this before, but you know it's kind of cool. So me we like we say what's up to the girls and we we keep chatting. And then L looks over to O and me, and she's like, yo, you want to take a drink of this? And O's like, yo, what is it? She's like, nah, just drink it. Red flag. Obviously, that's a red flag. She's not telling us what's inside the drink. And these girls, like, seem, like, a little too happy and jittery to be, like, like it's, like, 7.45 in the morning. And these girls aren't the girls that, like, you know, come to school happy and shit. Like, no, like, these girls are, like, dead tired in the morning, right? That's how they always been. But this particular morning, they were too jittery. Like, uh, per, like, uh, like more than usual, they were more jittery and happy for each, like, laughing their asses off, yada, yada. So I'm like, I didn't think nothing of it. And O goes, nah, tell me what's in it first before I, you know, drink out of it. She goes, nah, don't do it. And like I said, red flag, right? Anybody who sees that, red flag. But me being me at the time, wanting, like I said, I have the biggest crush on this girl. And I wanted to, like, <sighs> I wanted to impress her. And if you know me, I'm not the type to just try to impress anybody. You know, I'm not like that. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. Only people, only opinion that matters to me is people around me. Like I said, my brothers, my family, my close friends from high school. You know what I mean? But <laughs> this one time, I wanted to impress this girl so bad because I legitimately wanted her to be like be interested in me. So I looked over to O. I was like, "Yo, let me see it." He go, "You sure?" I was like, "Yeah, let me see it." And so he hands me it. I open it up. I don't even sniff it. I should have. But I take a sip. I don't even take a full, like, drink. And I immediately tasted alcohol. And I was like, 
what the fuck? And so I, sp- like, there's a trash can right behind me. So I turn around and I spit it out and close it. And O looks at me and goes, like, what the fuck is wrong? I was like, bro, that's alcohol. That's not no nothing. He goes, what? I was like, yes. He's like, let me see. I was like, no, bro, don't. Are you stupid? He's like, no, 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 let me see. So he grabs a hold of it, takes a sip like I did, got a sour face, and immediately turned around and spit it out the exact same way I did. And the and SNL, are, they're just laughing their asses off. They think it's fucking hilarious because we're like, what the fuck's your problem? And so L's, like, like I said, they're crying laughing at this point. I, yeah, like, I'm, what I mean, like, crying laughing, I mean, like, crying laughing. There's tears running down these girls' faces. Rena has glasses, so, like, she's taking off her glasses, wiping her eyes and shit. And me and O look at each other, like, are they good? We're just, like, they, we're confused as to what's, like, happening, right? We're, like, what the fuck? And L goes, yeah, yeah we've been drinking this all morning. And L goes, o goes, what is it? I don't remember what drink she said it was, but I know she said she mixed a lot of heavy alcohol with some juice. And she thought she masked it enough with the juice, the way it just tastes like juice. But, no, that shit tasted like straight alcohol, right? And so... These girls, like I said, these girls are already drunk. It's 7.45 on a Friday morning in 8th grade. And, like, we we are 8th graders at the time. So me and O were like, yo, we might be fucked. And, like, we were like, nah, we didn't drink it. We didn't consume it. We'll be all right. We didn't even drink enough to be anywhere close to what they are. You know, obviously, I'm not, I'm, I don't drink. I don't like drinking. I don't, I know O at the time, he didn't drink. You know, it was like we're eighth graders. You know, we're not supposed to be doing that shit. And so, like me and O were just like, yo. And as like time goes on, like as the minutes pass, these girls are laughing just harder and harder at literally nothing. And so me and O, o go, O was like, yo, we gotta, we gotta separate. So the day, oh that Friday, they called the eighth graders up first. So me and O, we stand up and just we kind of like we we walk, we were speed walking to the, get to the line to leave. And the girls just kept laughing. They were sitting down, yada, yada, yada. So me and O, when we was walking to class, we was like, yo, you know, we're walking down. I thought he said, you know what? Let's forget about it. We should be good. You know, I, you know ain't nothing bad. You know, we didn't we didn't consume it all the way. We're not going to get drunk off a of little sips. We should be fine. So I'm like, I'm already worried. I'm like, what if we get caught, though? And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. O's right. We didn't do anything bad. We did nothing wrong. We didn't know. We should be in the clear. And so we go to athletics. Get through our athletics period. Obviously, it's first period. And so, then we go our separate ways to go to other classes. So, now I'm sitting in second period. Doing my work, yada, yada, yada. And then, knock, uh, randomly, you know, I'm doing my work. Knock at the door. Right? Boom, boom, boom. The teacher opens it up. And it's one of the vice principals. A big Hispanic guy at the time. He's like, Sean Calvert in here. I was like, oh, shit. And she, you know, teacher points to me. He's like, Sean. He's like, come in, you come with me. Grab your stuff. I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. So we get to bro's office, walk in, O's already sitting down. He's already sitting in the seat, right, to the one I sit in. The vice principal sits down, he goes, look, I know what y'all did. Me and O are like, what do you mean, you know, what did we do? What, what did we do? Like, you know, we were just in class, you pull us out, what did we do wrong? He goes, I know what y'all did. And he pulls out, he literally pulled out the protein cup, set it down with the cross facing us. I remember it now. There's a blue protein cup with a bedazzled cross on it. He goes, confiscated this from your friends, L and S. And we're like, what did they do? We're try- obviously, we're, not- we're trying to play dumb because like, we know we didn't do anything wrong. He goes, did you know they had alcohol on this? And we're like, nah. He goes, they said y'all, t- they are like, they said y'all took drinks from it too. And we and, our- me and O were just like, fuck. So we-, we went on. We're like, look, we didn't consume any of it. Obviously, you can go check the cameras in the cafeteria. We didn't consume it. As soon as we took a sip, we spit it out. We're- and as you can see, we're not drunk. We're not, you know, losing our minds right now. We're calm, collected, looking like we're cool. Like, obviously, there's nothing wrong with us, right? We should be good. And he's like, well, I can see that y'all are good, yada, yada, yada. But you're still in trouble for this. And we're like, what did we do wrong? We did. We were fooled into thinking that, you know, the something was some. this was something that it wasn't. Right. So we were kind of tricked in the process. And he goes, I understand that. I understand you didn't know. But this is still obviously a violation of school code. You drink alcohol during school. And so me and O are like, we're like, dude, we didn't even like consume it. It didn't go down our throats. Pause. Like we didn't do it. Like we didn't swallow it. Nothing. So how are we in the wrong right here? He goes, you still, it was still in your mouth. Pause. It was still, you still can, it's still considered obviously that you did it. You, It's already done. We're going to say that you did it. And so me and O were just like, well, I guess there's no, like, there's no fighting it now. He's just going to say we did it, even though we clearly, we clearly didn't consume it. 
like it's not in our it's not in our systems. We spit it out as soon as we tasted it. So he's like, "All right, look, go to ISS for the day, but I'm gonna have to call y'all's parents." So I was like, "Man, fuck it, whatever." So he goes, he's like, "Sean, since you're still new here, I don't have your correct contact information for your parents. I'm gonna need your mom's number." I was like, "I don't know my mom's number." At the time, I didn't even have a phone. I wasn't even allowed with a phone. So I was like, "I don't know my mom's number." He goes, "You know your mom's work number?" I was like, "Nah, but I know she works at one of the Seven Elevens." He's like, "No." Like near my apartment, he goes and the, but there was a Seven Eleven right across the school. Like is she is he working? That was like nah, but there's like one down the road that she works at that one. He goes, you don't don't know them? I was like, no, I don't know the number. I don't even have a phone. How am I supposed to call her or whatever? And he goes, all right, look, I'm gonna give you the weekend. You're gonna tell your parents what you did. You're gonna have them come back up here Monday morning, and I'm gonna talk to them about this. And I was like, okay, whatever, cool. Go to ISS for the day. Me and O were just like, whatever, fuck it. The girls were in there. They seemed they were sobering up. They apologized. You know, it was all under the water. So now, end of the day comes, and I'm walking home. It's, a, it's about, you know, 20 minute walk. And I'm just like, I'm not going to tell them. I'm not going to tell my parents. Why would I do that? Why, like, why would I put myself in that situation where I would do that? No, I'm not going to do that. You know, it's going to be the weekend. My thought process was like, it's the weekend. He's going to forget about it. Way before, you know, way before I even tell them. So I should be straight, you know, whatever. Weekend goes. Weekend comes and goes. First thing, Monday. Pulls me out of second period again. He's like, did you tell your parents? I was like, yeah, I told them. I, sh- I just blatantly lied to him. I was like, yeah, I told them what happened and everything. He goes, are they coming up here? I was like, ah, oh, well, my mom says, you know, she has work. My dad doesn't have time. He's taking care of my newborn sister. My mom had just had my youngest sister at the time. So I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And he goes... All right, you better bring them up here tomorrow. And I mean it. I was like, I'll try, but, you know, there's no guarantees, whatever. And so I'm like, fuck. Like, now the end of the day comes or whatever. I'm like, fuck. What am I going to do? And you know what? I was just like, maybe I should. Like, that home that night, I was doing my chores. I was like, maybe I should just tell them, right? Monday night football games comes on, so me and my dad are watching. Next thing you know, we hear at the door. I'm just like, the fuck could that be? I open it up. It's my vice principal. My vice principal literally pulled up to my apartment at the time. I was like, where are your parents at? And I was like, oh, my fucking God. My mom and dad walk to the door. He tells them everything that happened. And I'm just sitting there like, I didn't do anything wrong. I was fooled. And obviously, my Hispanic parents did not care what had happened. I got, I got, I got whooped. All right. That's, that's literally the, like, I got whooped. My dad didn't care. My dad likes to swing and ask questions later. My mom, she, she tries to listen, but at this point, she was already pissed off too. So I was just like, there's no point in fighting it. So I, I, it happened. I got my ass whooped. Um, and that's really it. And then after that, we know ne- I never saw L and S go back to school that year. For the rest of the year, I did not see them. And it was really weird. It was like I'm pretty sure they also had sh- parents. I remember they told a lot of stories about it. So I'm like, whoa. And they, like I said, they were drunk, drunk. They were like literally, like off their ass drunk. At the, like you know in school so it's just like yikes and like i said i didn't see them either of them the rest of the school year didn't know what happened didn't know where they went all i knew is is that i kind of got it i got it i mean oh kind of got let off the hook in a sense obviously i had to deal with my parents he probably had to deal with his but we never heard from l and s after that like we didn't i didn't i didn't see l and s until freshman year that like then the next year our freshman year of high school and i saw them roaming the halls i was like oh it's glad to know they're good because they just disappeared off the face of the earth last time when that whole incident happened so moral of the story gentlemen and ladies if there's any ladies watching this do not try to impress somebody just because you like them obviously we live in a world today where like if you don't try to impress people ain't gonna like you like we're all about materialistic things yada yada all this just do you don't try to don't try to do something just because you think it's gonna grab that other person's attention yada 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 don't do that you know that's you're living for something else other than yourself at that point right just do what makes you happy obviously like i it's, i know it's corny to say but at that point like there's no point in doing something for somebody else if it doesn't benefit you and obviously i learned that the hard way with this story All right but don't do anything unless it betters you don't try to impress anybody but yourself. That that's real shit. Don't try to impress anybody but yourself, because if you know you try to impress one person that you think might like you, if you do something, 
bad shit could happen, you know, or maybe worse than what happened to me at the time. But like I said, there's no point in trying to impress somebody just because you like them and you want them to like you back. It's not worth it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this first story. I got a lot to share with y'all. So if y'all do want an episode two, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe. I love the subscribers. We're at 55 now. Bless, you know, because last year around this time we were still at 19. So we're moving up there a little bit, you know what I mean? So, but as always, hope y'all guys enjoyed. And of course, just keep an eye out for more content later on in the future. Good don't make it careful. Loyalty is what I send for. No half stepping on it ten toes. Now life is at a different tempo. Tempo, tempo.